today I am opening up Masters of the Universe Origins Snake Mountain playset. Let's go. Okay, I ordered this from Amazon Canada. They did ship from the U.S. When I found it, I found it on in the new toy section, which I often check out and look. And I don't think anybody mentioned it at all. Like, there's Canadian Masters of the Universe Facebook groups. And i got to make sure I'm not doxing myself or anything. Yeah. And I think I'm going to record this video, by the way. Uh, just, we're building... Math. We're building the Masters of the Universe Snake Mountain. That's what we're going to do in this video. So, you take me out of the box for the first time, start to finish. There's something that I want to do in a half hour or less now. I wanted to start this video a while ago, but I had to pull out my camera in the studio to make sure that I had enough room to record. So we've got a different perspective today. But yeah, I think we can see everything. My box is a little bit crushed. Let's take a look at the artwork that's on this thing. It is a different proportion than the Castle Grayskull box. I uh, was going to have that in here. But, I mean, come on, we don't even have enough space as it is. Check out the artwork. This is so good, the setup that they made on here. What a great box. I mean, oh, we're getting this. This one just shipped from Big Bad Toy Store. I was worried that, um, that Amazon was going to cancel this because they did cancel my Manny Faces. But I think I got it from Big Bad Toy Store, which that is where I have these skeleton warriors coming from. I got the notification today. Uh, oh, it looks it looks good. What this is a great setup. I always love that. Are we gonna get this vehicle? What do you think? Uh, that would be really cool. And then it's showing the features on the box there. And then underneath, it looks like that. And uh, Talon Fighter, I actually just got the other day. I thought I was going to probably open that one today for Mo Tuesday. But no, Castle Grayskull showed up yesterday after it also it was delayed. I, there's something wrong with my Amazon delivery. I always don't get the toys that I ordered. So I'm opening it like this. I'm opening it like this. It's gonna be a complete unboxing and build. Oh, my box is totally messed up. That sucks. But at least I got one. I'll probably buy another one. If they're anything like Castle Grayskull. I have a closeout store near me, and they have had so many Castle Grey Skulls marked down to 70% off for so long. And uh, I already have two Castle Grey Skulls, so maybe one day I will get another one of these. We don't get an exclusive figure like we did with Castle Grey Skull. I dropped something. So when you take it out of the box, it looks just like this. That's just a protective piece of cardboard. And then another, just a protective piece of cardboard. And then, this actually looks kind of creepy. With the patch over its eye, it looks like cobwebs. Plastic freaks me out. Uh, plastic, the plastic on Castle Grayskull is so nostalgic for me. Every time I feel that it's like this special 70s, 80s plastic that they only used during the 70s and 80s. And I, but this, 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 this feels more durable. So in many ways, I'm not getting, I don't get the nostalgic feel of it, but it feels like, it feels like buckets, like, 
shovels for the sand for kids. Like, it feels like it's not gonna ever disintegrate. Alright, so we get this piece. It looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to together. But together, this video might be, not be as long as I think it is. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving the addition to it. Let's move that stuff out of the way. There's a little paper baggie. They're not using plastic, which is pretty awesome too. Speaking about the environment, the castle may, might not disintegrate, but at least we don't have the extra plastic things. Tissue paper, instruction manual, which I covet and love as much as I will of the castle itself. Yeah, everything is looking real, real good. I think these are all the same mold for the pathway on the front of the castle. We've got this repeated door. I was really curious when I saw that they were making two of them. Was it exactly the same sculpt? No, they made it in two different sizes. That's... I think that's a missed opportunity. Like, they could have made a different door. If they're going to make it in two different sizes, why not just... Hmm. Maybe they can scale down now when designing toys with computers and they don't have to like worry about anything. Okay, so this is so much better than the original Snake Mountain, which was really just the front was really only the only play place, but this time We've got all of these extras for inside, and yeah, it's uh, pretty darn sweet. Okay, here we go. I didn't order a turn yet. I didn't have the funds. In Canada, it's so expensive. It was it was crazy expensive to order it. All of the toys are crazy expensive to get them here. We're having a really hard time getting Masters of the Universe in Canada. Okay, oh wow, oh, oh wow, wow, wow. Okay, so much great things, so many great things. The Bone Throne, check this out. We never had anything like that. The details go all the way around to the back. We've got a peg system. It looks like it's the same peg that um, Castle Grayskull uses for its uh, floor accessories and uh, no paint on it. I know people don't like that, but I love that. And then the, uh, the different colored parts are added in different colored plastic. In this case, it's more of a rubber. And it uh, looks like all of the stickers are already applied, which that I would not, I don't put on my stickers, if it does come with stickers. Uh, these things are so much more rubbery than I thought. I love that. They're like total rubber, rubber, chewy, gummy rubber. And then we have these things, which are way more rubbery, and hopefully they don't break. I'm surprised that they didn't actually do chains this time, because if you're trying to get an old snake mountain, those things are going to be broken. Those things have never survived. I don't remember on mine as a kid. I don't know if I broke mine off or not. I do remember when I sold my castles. I kept all my figures, but I sold all of the other accessories. I don't know. I gave them to my mother to sell. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, just heads in here. They have this little flap. Flap stand here. Maybe I can show you better once I get these things together. What's in this little bag here? Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the great stuff. Oh, wow. We get some weapons. That's what we get. They look just like the Castle Grayskull weapon. Are they supposed to be like the Castle Grayskull weapons? But this looks like that is Whiplash, which is the one character I haven't gotten yet. So sad. Uh, of that whole King Randor wave. I did get King Randor. Luckily, a friend sent me that. But I'm still missing Digitino and Whiplash. Will they show up somewhere? These are awesome. These are to come out of a great remote. Here is the collect list or the inventory and uh, the contents is actually what they call it there's no words on the instructions it's just 
build, build, build. I love these schematic drawings, though, so much. These are nostalgic, for sure. Okay, let's build this stuff. So they have a one assembly. It says snap the top of this onto here. And speaking of speaking of buckets, this does remind me of the way that those big beach toys, big plastic toys snap together. So because it's just got this tab that snaps into here. And what do I have to do? Just as simple as that. There we go. There we go. And uh, that definitely soups up the size. I have to hold it back here for you to see its full peak capacity. Never like the internal shell. That's never a good play thing. But Snake Mountain and Castle Grayskull, if any toy ever did that well, it was them because they would hide faces and stuff in the inside. Uh, that doesn't look like they've done that this time for Snake Mountain. I don't see any like hidden extra faces. If there is a face, it's just the back side of the faces that are sculpted there. Nonetheless, that's fine. It does look pretty good inside. So this looks this looks super not cool. But I think we have a floor to fix that. Well what's the next step? The next step says that we're going to put all of these on the bridgeway. And I believe that they're the same sculpt. Let's see here. I love that. I love when they do that, when they design the things to fit together. But yeah, they're all the same piece. They're all exactly the same. But then you don't have to struggle to find, put A with B and B with B. You just know that anyone is going to fit and it's going to look good. So that's cool. I don't think that uh, that is wide enough, but it is wide. You know what? It probably is. Their waists are small. In real life, it would be probably just this very thin bridge to go across. And then it says to put this on to here. And I think that you have to take this off each time you open and close the castle. Which, that is kind of bizarre. So once you put that in, it's got to stay in. And then this is held open. So that's kind of an interesting feature. So this is what, this is how you display your Snake Mountain. It, it, it looks really good. It looks so good. All right, it's like it's done. Oh, and that's not done. We got this. I never understood. It was, it was super weird how they had this advertised as when they were showing the prototypes that it didn't really fit on. And I was like questioning what's going on with that. But let's see here. Uh, I guess, I guess it rotates a bit. I think, I think you're supposed to be able to turn this, but I wouldn't. I would just keep it lined up so that it matches. And then this head I would turn, which is unpainted. I, I'm surprised that they didn't paint the eyes or anything, but me, you know me, you might not know me, but I don't like, I like the less paint the better. It looks like a prototype. It looks more versatile and cleaner and sleeker. Peg, a giant peg. A, a giant peg hole. Oh no, I'm, I'm destroying my really nice directions that I love to keep. Uh, it's got an up and a down, so you know that the little peg thing goes on the bottom. So you just gotta wrap it around and then snap it into place. 
and then that's never going anywhere again. This joint, this joint in the neck here, this, oh no, this one, I don't know if it's a really a joint, I don't know if you're supposed to move it or not, it doesn't feel like it really moves over the ball of this, that's like a ball joint, and then you can rotate it and close its jaw, oh, that's pretty sweet. So that is the only thing, like I'm afraid this is going to break at this point. So you let me know if you've been manipulating that, because I'm just going to move this head around. But that's actually, it has quite a great range of motion. I like this position. I thought it was a little awkward when I saw it, but no, I, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, next it says to do, we're putting in the platforms on the inside. So I guess I'll stand up for, for that. And everybody loves a trap door, so I guess that's why we have the, that going on. And uh, Castle Grayskull has a trap door, so why not Snake Mountain? This slides right into here, like so. Very easy, very intuitive. And then this goes in here. Maybe it's not for everybody. I say that and then I can't get this in. Okay, so this has a little notch set for like so. Do I get a good click? I guess that's a good click. So then that cleaned up the insides a lot and that is so much more play surface than we originally had. Okay, it says to put the bone throne over, where is it, on here. Oh, well, there's a hole for it here. So, oops. it doesn't have the chair trap jaw feature, or trap, tra trap door feature. That looks really good there. Clean this stuff out of the way so I can come up close to you here. Check out this. Check out the stickers inside. Okay, I don't even have a figure standing by to play. It'll have to be another day. Where does that go? We haven't done that yet. It does say, it does talk about this platform coming up and down. So, thanks. Thanks for showing me that. Uh, we, we did everything there. Oh yeah, this is the next step. So inside, we are taking this, we're plugging this into, so weird. So this was the speaker, the microphone, and they didn't homage the microphone to have like a place to speak into or anything. I guess I prefer that. It says it clips into here. I don't know exactly where. Oh, yes I do. Oh, it's because I'm upside down, but there are two notches in the neck. So then it just goes in like this. And then what is this? What is this thing? Is it a coat rack? Is it a... I thought this would, they turned this into a periscope for some reason, but I guess he is still watching out over whoever he is. I guess they would use these eyes as the cameras to for security. But I mean, that's kind of cool. I, I, what else were they going to do with that bat or wolf? Bat wolf head. Okay, yeah, good, good. Uh, and then it shows you to put creatures on here. It says to put the spider up above the window. The spider's got yeah, a hole in its bum and you stick the peg in its butthole like that. Oh, you, you can't even, you can't even see that. It goes in, it goes in up there, like so. And then, and then what happens? And then it shows you putting these two creatures in here. It shows this one up front. 
which let me give you a real good look at that. I think I'll call this one Andy. It looks like an Andy. And uh, then this one, that one's good. We'll call that one Susan. There we go. Cute. Let's put that here. And then, oh, there's a weapons rack. Oh, I didn't even see this. This is this is cool. Let me let me back up here. Let's see if we, what we can fit in here. Okay, the scissors out of the way. Clean things up. Oh no, I'm way past the time. Actually, I'm not. I'm doing real good for time. Okay, we have the weapons rack. And does it show me how to put the weapons in the rack? Do we got that going on here? No, oh, no, it doesn't really. Uh, the Castle Grayskull weapons rack, if I remember correctly, it didn't, uh, it didn't work very well, but it looks like here, wait, did they design it to work properly? Mm, that, pff, no. That there is a place to snap in there. Do I have to push harder? Uh, that, no, no. And they just have this one leaning. I don't. I don't. The thing about the toys in the 70s and 80s, when you clip them into place or when somebody held an, a weapon or a, a sword or something, it fit. And I don't know why that's a lost art now, where, okay, I think you're just supposed to balance them. They, uh, they don't, <laughs> they really don't stay in. If you clip it in, it's not going to fall like it does in the schematic drawing. Yeah, I like a definitive way to hold it. Yeah, uh, mm, they don't, if, if you do put them on, like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with that, but I'm pretty sure, like, you saw me put this castle together, I would know if they're, like, hiding, if there's, I usually figure these things out, is what I'm trying to say, and, yeah, there's no good way for this weapons rack to work. And I don't know why they do that. Like, somebody designed this and... Some... They just think that those clips would hold the stuff without any problem? Oh, 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 wait, no, don't shake it too much. But still... I don't get that. It's cool. Like, I love the design of this. I love having this weapons rack, but you can't really put the weapons on it. I guess you can just be strategic and somehow just, like, hang the stuff off. I mean, that's real life. If you just, like, kind of balanced the stuff in there, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. I guess. Now that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, what's what's up next? They have the dungeon box, which looks pretty easy to put together. Take that. Uh, why isn't this side attached? I guess it's just so they built part of it. Did that come undone? That's weird that it's not, that the other pieces are attached, but this one isn't. Okay, I, uh, is there an up and a down? Oh, let's uh, match up the rivets so they have two little, so we'll make sure that we're putting the rivets at the top like the other ones have. And squeeze that into place here. I guess maybe it only goes together on a right angle because you have to put it together as a box. And then it's got a platform, and I assume the open platform goes to the top. Oh, look, here we've got an A and a B. A, B, A, B. 
uh, how do I know? Oh, it's showing you in the diagram that the bees go in the front. Wait, <laughs> the way that they have it shown, the, they go upside down. I don't know why it would matter. I can't see a difference. Maybe I have this going the wrong way. Oh, I see why it's upside down because the thing goes in upside down. I still don't understand. Oh, maybe it's because of the directions of the slots. It looks like it wouldn't matter, but it still says A is supposed to be here. Okay. Well, the way that I want to put it on is the way that it's going. So, little snap into place. Did I have enough satisfaction? Okay, enough snapping satisfaction. So that's that, and there's the bottom of the cage. And again, the B and the A, B1, A1, goes into the front. Why do they put A1? Oh, I guess so you know what's bottom and what's top. Okay. So that's pretty easy and awesome to put together. What a nice little cage. Unfinished edge here. Uh, yeah, this is like a portable jail that I can take around. Great for taking photographs in and stuff. Every new character can go in the dungeon. Black background, that would look great. Okay, and then it slides into... Wait, does it slide? Or does it... Yeah, it slides into there. And you can move it to take it and slide it somewhere else, I believe. Yeah, 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 under here. So that's a closed cage. So then you have the floor to close it in. I think I like it better over there because there wasn't really play space. Yeah, I do like it over there. And it also like takes that door there, that door there, spreads it out spreads out the play a little bit and oh there's a ladder which I didn't show really cool oh it's nicer than the original ladder because it's two-sided I think the other one was hollow on the back side maybe it wasn't but it's a lot wider too than the original Castle Grayskull which I talked about I think in my Castle Grayskull review so that's everything uh, it's great I, I love it. I love it so, so much. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, there's play features and stuff. It says the wolf head, the wolf head turns. And it says that you can, it says that you can twist this at this point. But I don't want to because it seems fragile. And it unaligns the, the texture or spine on the snake anyway. So it looks nice to that. Uh, then, it, um, then oh, oh, you take off its wrists. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So because there it's origins that the figures come apart, you have to take off their wrists to put their hands into the shackles. That's kind of cool. And the escape route, a new added addition of the rubber vines. I really love that. That's super cool. And uh, I'll, I'll go through some more features at the end of this video. All right, I hope you had fun putting this together with me. Maybe I'll grab a figure to play. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay, I went and I got some figures. I uh, took a closer look. This looks so nice. Like, I'm really impressed. It's made really, really well. It's, uh, oh, it's so nice. There's so many details on it. It's, I don't know, it might be, it might be cooler than Castle Grayskull. I don't know if that's true. There's, there's a lot of fun and a lot of things to do. And let me, can continue showing you the stuff that it did. I think I figured out the weapons. There's something about when they make art, like the 
artists that do the pictures, I think that they usually do it after the fact. Yeah, they would do it after the fact. So I think you're supposed to put it in here. I noticed that the staff fit in straight up and down. So I slid that in and I don't know why they have this very, very long stand for it, but that seems to fit. So then I thought, oh, if the handle fits into that peg, then this will hand. There's not, you can't really put it down because it's going to go further than the floor than the floor. So I said, let's put that up and then that's straight. And then I was struggling getting the handle. It's again, handles seem to fit right into this clip, but this isn't a perfect round handle. And it kept like I showed you before flying out of the place. But if you tilt it in a little bit, and use this to rest on the shelf. I mean, it's not straight on, but that might be its intention. Uh, it looks really good like this and uh, everything's aligned properly. So maybe that was the intention of the design of this. So it looks great. That would look great in a little picture diorama. Something else that I just noticed is that my three very favorite Masters of the Universe Origins figures, figures of all time perhaps, are the three Castle Grayskull figures. I don't know, maybe it's because they're new and, I don't know, the simplicity of the white sorceress and the translucent wings and stuff. Like, she just looks so ethereal and... Uh, than these two, uh, maybe because we haven't had them before. Uh, they're just so really cool. I thought that they would be great to bring over and try out some of the accessories. And we talked about the snake head, what that does. And then we talked about this and getting the figures out of there. I don't know. Yeah, you can like escape Snake Mountain that way. That's really cool. And then we have, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, there's uh, the speaking lever. So inside is uh, the lever, just like the original one, which flaps the mouth. That's really, really fun and cool, and it can talk to you. I mean, I don't know if they made an app that went that they should make an app that you can download. Maybe it says that on here. And I said that you take off the hands so that you can put the shackles because all Origins hands come out and uh, then you stick his arm in. That is smart. However, I don't know. They could have just made it open. But why make it open when you don't have to? Prisoner. He's just going to have one on. And then they really push this spider thing, which I uh, don't understand. I also didn't understand that it has two holes coming out of its butt. It's the one on the bottom and the one here. So there are different spots that you can put the spider. It makes me just want to get more spiders to fill in the pegs that are sticking around. So it says that there's one under here. So you can put the spider on here down here and then there's one up here so you can put the spider here and then there's one under the wolf's head which is a bigger peg I did manage to put it in here like this I guess they have that option I don't know but I think the more and the intention is to put it in like this uh, uh, weird. I don't get this. I don't understand the design of this or what that's all about. What, what, what purpose these up hooks have. It doesn't say. It does say that his head rotates. That's one of the features. I kind of think of that as a periscope. This adds detail over here, so I like that. It kind of hides the molding of the castle so I do like I do prefer the spider up there in that original place and then it says wolf's head rotates 
inside view it says that the cage can change from here to here which I showed you I haven't showed you the trap jaw yet um, the dro the trap door the trap door why do I keep forgetting what trap door is let's uh let's try a, a figure on it there is a button Let me get as close as I possibly can and does it say that the door is open and right here there's a button and you press it and she falls into the dungeon below and what's really cool is what they did is they put a stone you have to press the button to get the door back up again but they put this little stone here to make it easy for you to to put the door back up again again you have to press the button to get the latch out of the way and then get it secured. Look at the design. I mean, I didn't really show you inside of this floor. That's nostalgic vibes for sure. And uh, this moat and the additional moat. I don't know about having like this little place that pops out. That was that was unnecessary. They didn't they didn't really have to do that. I mean, I guess it does look like spilling out ooze. So that's okay. But it doesn't really, you know, there's a break in it from the other ooze that's in the sticker on the floor. Unnecessary. Um, I'm glad that we got these. They could have given us these little figures, though. And speaking of those figures, are we ready for that feature? We are. Uh, all Origins figures come apart. And they have pegs on the bottom. And it is the same peg system that they put on the floor here. So that you can have your figures coming out of the ooze. That's pretty awesome. Um, they should have also done a reverse peg so that you could put them head first down there too. That would have been funny. And uh, what else we got here? It shows you, oh yeah, once you have them captured, whoa, you can move the whole dungeon over and slide it into place of there so that the sorceress just shrivels up in prison there. Nobody said anything about this door opening, but it does. It's, uh, it's notch notchy. It doesn't swing, but I kind of like that. It would hold its position no matter where you put it. There is a peg, a foot peg, on the platform here. And there are more platform pegs on the bridge. See if they work. See how they don't look very big. Can I get a foot? Can I get a foot in there? I uh, was talking bad about the weapons rack not fitting, but no, the peg seems to fit very, very nicely. There's a dismembered torso which is secured now and there's two so maybe you are supposed to use both of them for the one character i'm not sure but that definitely makes things a little more stable if his knees weren't so loose then it would be even better cool what a cool figure this guy is always wanted that space suit uh, uh, what else we got going on here? Should press button, remove the bridge. Oh, and then it shows you how to pack it all up inside. And that's, that's kind of interesting that you do have to dissemble it to, uh, he would look really good in the moat, wouldn't he? Because he's a creature. And he's the same color. I gotta try that first. He's of like the same color as the ooze. So having him come out of the ooze with his hand. And there's another one back here. But oh yeah, no, there's room. There's room to put the figure back there. So yeah, he looks pretty good in there. He could be in this castle just as much as he could be in Castle Grayskull. 
okay, and last, um, oh yeah, we're closing this up. So it says you have to move the dungeon over to here, and then you have to take the bridge off of the front. You can't. Which, oh, you can push from the inside. You have access to the little, to where it connects. Where's this one again? I'll show you. They do fit nicely. I wonder if they'll wear down over time, but you can push on those from inside, and that makes taking off the bridge a whole lot easier and probably less stressful. And then it says that you have to put that up on the top floor. You have to take this off. Oh yeah, that's something else that I want to mention. It's kind of a shame. They have this really pushed back, the bone throne, pushed back against the wall, covering up this computer is where the battery compartment was in the original. And I think the speaker also, the whole electronic aspect was kept in that. But it says that you put the bone throne in the dungeon. And then it says you put this up here. Does it say you put it backwards? It says you put the curve in this way, so we'll do that. And then it says, oh, you take the weapons rack, which I exploded. You put that in here. Can I keep can I keep my weapons assembled? Yeah. And then it says, oh, you pop the floor up. With the creatures on it, it even works. And then you close it up this way. Let's see. And then, unlike Snake Mountain, the hooks go down. I didn't understand why the hooks went up. It took me, I probably spent five minutes on trying to figure out why you hook it up. But this is good, the hook goes over this time. And then, yeah, is there a handle? There's not really a handle. Isn't that the good thing about, I guess you could reach your hand in there and hold it. And kind of hold it, hold it from here too. I guess it's got a built-in handle. I wouldn't hold it from your snake. I'm gonna do it for you. But yeah, no, that's not cool. It's so cool. Uh, more pegs on the outside of the staircase for the feet and stuff. Yeah, more along here. Not, not here, because he's going to be shackled in. It's a beauty. It's a beautiful. I love that there's no stickers. Uh, standing next to Castle Grayskull. It's bigger. It's bigger than Castle Grayskull. In some ways. And in some ways it's not, as you can see. It's awesome. I love it. I love it so much. I would have, I have, I just bought a, well, it wasn't recently, but just before this came out, I bought an, a classic Castle Grayskull. I probably wouldn't have bought it. No, I'm really happy that I have it, actually. But I don't need, I don't need a classic Castle Grayskull now. Like an original, I'm sorry. This, I guess, is this classics, classics, no, oh, not classics, origin. <sighs> so confused. I don't need a vintage Sting Mountain now that I have this one. It's better, and I feel that way about all of the figures. They're better. I love the colors, and I love the original designs, but the new Origins line is actually better. There's this little rock piece that's on the same peg system. What? That you know goes on here. Uh, 
so I didn't even notice this little, what a great little addition. I don't think it's in the instructions or anything either. That's so, so cool. Little stagla, staglamite, S staglatite, staglamite, whatever they're called. So cool. It's whole, the holes, little peeping holes. I'm watching the light come through these holes that are in it too. What's up with that? That's kind of cool. There are peepholes through it. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna be discovering all kinds of things with, this is awesome. This is so awesome. It's way better than the original.